Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by buildthebestwebsite.com Today I'm going to show you how to make an interactive banner using Photoshop. And the cool thing about this is you can <clears throat> use any type of font you want and not have to worry about the end user having that font on their computer. So get pretty creative with this. Now I've already created this banner. This is one uh, website that I actually own and it's just basically just a picture with some layer styles, blendings, uh, blending options and whatnot. And uh, once I, you complete your banner, you notice I've got all the text down here of all the pages that I want to link to. I'm going to go ahead and go to Jump to Adobe Image Ready, which I've already have this opened up. And I'm going to go ahead and select my Slice Tool. And I'm going to draw a box around this form. Notice down here I, I, it's prompting me for a URL. So, and I'm just going to put my website name in there. And I want it to open up in its own page when you click on it. So, once you do that, and you do that with all these uh, links here, I would advise you. To save a master copy of the uh, Photoshop image. That way if you ever have to go back and change any of the links, then you have a master copy to work with to change the link. Okay? So we're going back to image ready. And I'm going to go ahead and save optimized as. And I've already made a folder here, Photoshop website. And I'm going to click save and replace all those other images. Now let's go to the Photoshop website and let's open, see how that looks. Now watch what happens when I click on the link. See there? That's my website, of course. Now, you can use mouse over, change colors, you can do all kinds of stuff, swap imaging and all that with, with this. It's pretty neat. Now, of course, this is not where we want this to be at. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the front page. <coughs> and I'm going to open that file up. And I'm going to insert a layer. And I'm just going to drag that layer down. Make it a little bit bigger than what this is. And I'm going to select the banner. Drag it down into the layer. Resize this layer. And I'm going to move it. Oops, Control Z. <laughs> and I'm going to move it where I want it. Okay. Move it towards the center there. Let's preview it. Okay. It's a little off, but you get the idea. So now what we can do is we can uh, let's just make sure this is really tight. Let's go ahead and insert another layer. And let's drag it down. Make it about the same size. And this is where our page content will go. Just kind of give you a rough idea. I'm not going to make it really super big. But I am going to look at the properties of this layer. It doesn't, really doesn't matter because once you uh, get an idea here, 801 by 562. All right, we go back to Photoshop. And we'll just change this. It doesn't really matter what size I make it because all I'm going to do is use my uh, gradient tool here. I'm just going to like make me a little background to go with that banner. Alright, I'm going to save it as a GIF file. And we will call it BG. And we'll make sure we save this to the folder that our website is in. So once you put it in using front page and you upload everything to your web host, uh, everything works. And we'll save that. <coughs> All the defaults on that are fine. I'm going to go back to the front page and right click. Or better yet, because I'm lazy, I'm just going to drag the, the background in there. Now if we click over, you see how that kind of works. Now, cool thing about layers is you can put as many as you want on top of each other. doesn't matter. 
So we'll have this one laid out to be our text. And really you can just put anything you want in here. And just be mindful if you use images in here, you will see the outlines in the uh, background of the image unless you go into Photoshop and take those uh, backgrounds out. So here. And we'll change the font to kind of make it blend a little bit. Go with Verdana, my favorite font. Now with this you do have to be careful what font you use because the end user may not have those crazy fonts that you may decide to use. So we'll select the color. Alright, we'll preview that and that's how that looks. Now you got your linkage, you got your text, and you can put banners over here to the right and the left, or left and right, and uh, put your privacy policy down here at the bottom, however you want to do it. But that's basically how you make a pretty cool little simple page using Photoshop and a little bit of front page and a little bit of creativity. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Take care.